This is an Inkscape tutorial on how to do the Maxim Devil Dude and this little guy over here. So we're in GIMP right now, so we're going to use the R key and for rectangle. And we're going to do Control C and go over to Inkscape and do Control V. And we're going to zoom in with the Control mouse wheel and we're going to break the circle tool and we're going to use Control and draw the circle. And that keeps it proportional. We're going to drag it over here. That looks pretty good. We're going to use our circle tool again. Let's come in here and draw the halo. Now, our stroke is pretty thick on this, so what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the stroke to one, or you can choose a different uh, smaller size if you prefer, or a bigger size. And we're going to resize this guy, and then we're going to go and draw another ellipse or circle in, among, in between this other one. Now, what we're going to do is, because each ellipse is implied that it's filled, what we're going to do is we're going to use this ellipse to cut the center out of this ellipse. So in order to do that we will need to use shift and click on the outer ellipse. And that selects both ellipses. Then we can use path and difference. And now that's subtracted this one from this one. So then when we fill that, you can see it fills in and if we drag it down you can see that that's actually transparent. So we're going to change this to black. And then use shift and click to change the stroke to black. I'm going to come, come down to the tail and we're going to use this tool here which is the draw freehand lines and we need our smoothing about 50 between 50 and 60 so we're just going to draw a line and you might take a couple of goes to get this right and we're going to use the shift click because if you use just the click it will actually f do a fill and we really don't want a fill so I'm not really happy with that one. So I think I'm going to delete that one and try it one more time. That looks not much better, but I think we'll just use that one. So that to make that a little bit, that's a little thin. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the stroke width and and we can also use this particular tool, our edit pass, and we can go over to the pass and try and smooth them out. That looks pretty good. So the next thing we want to do is the tail. So we're going to use this tool here which is our draw bezier curves and straight lines and what we're going to do is we're going to do this quickly and just draw a bunch of straight lines and when the red, when the square goes red then you can join it up. And we'll go back to our We'll go to our, our edit and we'll just move this around a little bit and makes it a little bit better. And then over here we're going to choose our edit pass. And we're just going to click and drag in the middle here and just give it a bit of a curve to the to the arrow. And that looks pretty good. So what we can do is we can fill that and that one's done. And then we can choose this guy and we can just um, change that. Now we're going to move over to the horns. So we're going to choose our Bezier curves and straight lines and we're just going to draw a bunch of straight lines. It doesn't necessarily have to be all that accurate and it goes to the red to close it up and we'll just change the outline so we can see it better and we're going to go to our edit pass and we're just going to move these guys around let's see so they're kind of like even doesn't really have to be perfect and now what we can do is go into the middle of each path line and just click and drag and this gives us our shape And even though that's not even, I think that's pretty good. So then we can just fill that in. And we can also fill in our circle. And then what we can do is we get rid of our background here. And next what we want to do is highlight everything. And then go to object and choose group. And now what this allows us to do is when we use the control and left mouse button, when we drag the actual object can get bigger proportionally. So we're going to make this fairly big, delete this guy, and then we want to export it. You want to highlight it, and then go export bitmap, selection is chosen, and then we can choose where we want to save it. We'll write over this double guy here. 
Then we can come over to our maximum cover. Get our devil guy. Move him up. Looks pretty good. We can always use the shift T and control left mouse button to, to resize it proportionally. And that looks pretty good.